I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. The Bible reading for Saturday, June 6th, is found in Job chapter 38, verses 12 through 21. Have you commanded the morning since your days began, and caused the dawn to know its place, that it might take hold of the skirts of the earth, and the wicked be shaken out of it? It is changed like clay under the seal, and it is dyed like a garment. From the wicked their light is withheld, and their uplifted arm is broken. Have you entered into the springs of the sea, or walked in the recesses of the deep? Have the gates of death been revealed to you, or have you seen the gates of deep darkness? Have you comprehended the expanse of the, of the earth? Declare, if you knew all this. Where is the way to the dwelling of light, and where is the place of darkness, that you may take it to its territory, and that you may discern the past to its home? You know, for you were born there, and the number of your days is great. The Word of the Lord. What do we know? Surely you know, for you were born then. Verse 21. Having twice endured and barely survived graduate school, I believe these questions God poses to Job would make even the most intelligent and thoroughly prepared doctoral candidate nervous. Surely this would make for the ultimate of final exams. I envision God asking the questions rapidly leaving no time for Job to even begin to answer one before proceeding to the next. By the, God, by the time God tells Job facetiously, Surely you know, for you were born then. John, Job must be gasping for breath at this daunting line of inquiry. I think God is pointing out to Job and to us that we human beings don't know nearly as much as we think we do, and we never will. But what we can and do know is God's love. Job's story is complex and doesn't show a warm, fuzzy image of a loving God. Chalk that up to one more thing we don't fully understand. We do know this. God so loved the world that He gave His only Son, so that everyone who believes in Him may not perish, but may have eternal life. John 3.16 Let us pray. Thank you, God, that we know your love through your Son, Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.